guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look right here. This is a really beautiful beach glow makeup look. So I got inspired by this beach glow makeup look done by Daisy Cash in one of her videos. I absolutely love the kind of content she creates. So I really got inspired by that look and I thought that I should come up with my version of beach glow makeup look and I absolutely love how this look turned out. I think it is so glowy, so beautiful and obviously nobody wears so much makeup on the beach. So if you are going for a vacation or if you have a nice beach photo shoot then this makeup look is just perfect. It's so glowy, so beautiful. So before we get started with the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram. And also please don't forget to check the description box below. All of the products that I will be using will be mentioned with their links. So don't forget to check that out. And now let's get right into the video. So first I will be prepping my skin and for that I will be using this Nivea Creme. As you guys can see my skin is looking super dry and dull. It has been so so dry lately. So I just like to warm this between my fingers first and then press it into my skin. So this can like avoid any tugging and pulling of your skin because this cream is super super thick. Next I will be using a dewy primer and for that I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer and this is the dewy one. Um, I have just used this once before, I recently got this during the Nika sale and I really liked it. So I'm just taking a pea size amount of this primer and it dries up really quickly so I will be warming it up between my fingers first and then I will be just applying this all over my face. I'm also taking this on my neck so that the glow is very even. Now that my skin is looking super prepped and glowy, I will move on to foundation next and for that I'm using my Dior Forever Skin Foundation in the shade 40 and the Nykaa Skin Shield Anti-Pollution Foundation in the shade 09. Uh, I will be mixing these both because this one is a little bit darker and this one is a little bit lighter. So I will be mixing them both and if you haven't watched a first impressions on the Nykaa foundation then I will leave a link somewhere on the top so please go ahead and watch that. I also did a pair test. For concealer, I will be using this MAC Studio Finish uh, Concealer in the shade NW35 and I will be using my fingers to apply this. Uh, your fingers just adds a lot of warmth. To brighten my under eyes further, I am using this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I am just applying a little bit of product on the high points of my face and I will be blending this with my fingers. Since I want my skin to look really healthy and luminous, I will not be setting my entire face but I definitely have to set my under eyes and for that I will be using this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I recently got this powder from the Nykaa sale and you really get it on a very very good deal. So this is the first time I will be using this powder. Uh, by the way, this is in the shade medium. So we're done with the base and now for my face I will be using this Lakme Absolute Moonlit Highlighter. I will be using this bronzer side. Uh, since it is a shimmery and a very pearly kind of a bronzer, I will be using this because I don't want my face to look very matte. So I'm not doing a very concentrated contouring but I'm just taking this all over the place. Now 
Now for my blush, I would be using this MAC lipstick in the shade Retro as my cream blush. Since I don't have a cream blush, I love using a lipstick as a cream blush. And this is how the color looks like. It is a very browny pink kind of a color. I'm just taking a little product on my finger and removing all the excess product. And now I will just tap this onto my cheeks. Then I'm using this MAC Extra Dimension Blush in the shade Hard to Get. Uh, this will not make the area look very matte because it is a very shiny pearly blush. So I'm just using a little product and using it as a blush topper. This blush looks so pretty under the sun. It's just very shiny and very glowy. I'm also applying a little blush on my nose. For highlighter, I'm using this Maybelline Master Strobing Stick and I will be using a fan brush to apply this highlighter. I hate using this highlighter with my fingers because it just moves the product a lot. So I prefer using a fan brush. Now I will be filling in my eyebrows and for that I'm using this dark brown eyeshadow which is Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette and using an angled brush I'm just slightly filling in my eyebrows. I'm not overlining or doing anything. I'm just mimicking the actual shape of my eyebrows. Next, I will be using this NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. This is in the shade Espresso. Yes, it is in the shade Espresso and it is a dark brown color. I am obsessed with this product. I think this is something every girl needs. If you're someone who is very, very lazy to use 100 brow products, then you should definitely get this product. This is all you need to fill in your eyebrows. For my eyes, I'm again using the Lakme bronzer and I'm just applying this in my crease. For my eyelid, I'm using my Makeup Revolution Fortune Favors The Braves palette and I'm using this uh, bronzy glittery eyeshadow. I absolutely don't know what the shade name is because I lost that uh, sheet where the shade names were written. Uh, but I will try to insert a close up of this shade. Next, I'm using this uh, white glittery eyeshadow on the centers of my eyelids. This will add a lot more dimension and shine to my eyelids. Next, I'm using my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm taking the shade Antique Bronze on this shader brush and I'm just patting this on the outer corners of my eyelids just to add a little more dimension but I'm not using any matte eyeshadow. All of these eyeshadows are glittery or satin finish. I'm also using the same shade on my lower lash line. Then I'm using the shade Trim Vera which is a really pretty gold eyeshadow and I'm using this in my inner corners and brow bone. For my lashes, I'm using this L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I had really high expectations for this mascara but I kind of didn't like this mascara that much. I have just used this once or I think I've just used this twice and I'm really trying hard to love this mascara but I just find this mascara to be really really clumpy. I absolutely love how this eye makeup turned out. I don't think the camera is doing justice to this eye look but in real life it looks very very pretty. Next I'm lining my lips using the pack lip pencil in the shade mauve. For 
for lipstick, I'm using this Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade Trendsetter. I'm mixing it with Trophy Wife again by Huda Beauty. I don't want it to be too pink but I'm just adding a hint of pink and blending it with my fingers. Next for lip gloss, I'm using my Essence Shine Wet Look Lip Gloss. This is the clear one. So this is the final result. I'm in love with this makeup look. I absolutely love how the lip color turned out. And also this look is so glowy, so bronzy. I think this is perfect for the summer. Also, I think beach waves would have looked so good with this look. But clearly I'm really bad at doing hair so I just stick with my usual hairstyle. But if you can then definitely do beach waves. I think they would look really really good with this look. So with this we come to an end of this video. Please let me know your thoughts about this look in the comment section below. And also don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!